Welcome to LabMoose.com and our lab video series in Cisco ACS. You can find a complete list of our ACS videos on our website by clicking on the link above and sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. In this video, we are going to show you how to apply and remove a patch on Cisco ACS. Here's our lab setup. We have a primary Cisco ACS version 5.4 the IP of .100, and we have a secondary ACS at the IP of .101, and both the servers are currently forming a distributed setup. We also have a domain controller at the IP of .40, and we're going to use that same server to be our FTP server for our software repository. So some prerequisites to installing a patch to a Cisco ACS is to check out the release notes and find out what patch number you want or is applicable to you. And it's usually determined by the bugs that is fixed by the patch. And it's not necessary that you have to go with the latest patch as long as the bug is addressed on the patch that you install. Once you've identified what patch you need, you can go out to the cisco.com and download the cumulative patch, cumulative being that a patch will include all of the fixes in the previous version up to that patch. So there's no need for you to install every single patch that's released by Cisco, just the latest one or the one that you need to install. Once you've downloaded the file, then you want to place the file under the software repository that you have created on the ACS. For us, we are using our FTP server and we have it pointed to a local directory called ACS Backup. And this is a file right here. For us, it's using patch number three. That's identified by a little number right here. And then we can verify that the ACS is actually seeing or have access to that directory by locking into the command line on the ACS. And you can do show repository and then the name of repository. And since we're using the same repository back in the as back in the backup videos, so here it's backup-ftp and we can see our patch file right here. And before we start applying the patch, let's do a show application version ACS just to verify that we currently do not have any patch installed. And to install the patch, we need to apply the command or run the command ACS patch. You can either do install or remove. And here we're just going to do install. We're going to try remove later in this lab. So patch install, and then we copy and paste the name of the patch. And then specify your repository. Just back up FTP, enter. And then let me bring up the console. To our FTP server, you can see it's currently downloading a file. We're just going to have to wait that to complete. And now the patch file has been downloaded by the ACS. And I'll just have to type yes to continue our patch install. And that's going to cause the services to restart. So at this point, your ACS services should fail over to secondary. And secondary ACS should pick up from there as far as the authentication. And normally you, you would wait until you're done patching the first ACS before proceeding with the patch on the secondary. But just to save us some time here in our video, we're going to go ahead and do our patch on the secondary as well. So here on the web interface in secondary.101, what we're going to do is to turn that into a switch on a local mode. So that is under local operation and deployment operations. If you scroll down, you can temporarily disconnect the secondary from the primary so you can make changes. And for our purpose of applying a patch here, so click request local mode. And here the message said the operation would disconnect ACS and stem from the primary. Click OK to continue. Okay, you can see now when we click on the deployment operations again, the current status is in local mode and we can always reconnect to the primary. So now let's lock into the secondary console. And also make sure that the secondary server has access to the same repository. So show repository, backup, FTP. And you can see you can see the file as well. So we can go ahead and start our patch install on the secondary as well with repository, backup, dash, FTP. And now you can see the file download has been started. Okay, now let's check on the status in the primary here. It went through stopping the ACS services and now was installing the patch as decompressing the patch file and then just going to have to give it a couple more minutes for that to complete. So it looks like the file download on the secondary has finished. So let's go ahead and yes on the restart of the service. Since it's going to take a couple more minutes even on the primary to come back with the patch, 
I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll come back when it's completed. So now the patch install has been completed for both primary and secondary. Check the services. You can see all of them are shown as running now. So just to double check, you can do show application version ACS and make sure that right here under the list of patches, we have our patch number three show up. And let's verify for the secondary as well. And here we have patch number three. So now what we need to do, since the secondary ACS is currently in local mode, we have to reconnect it back to the primary. So let's lock into our secondary ACS and then get under system administration, back under deployment operations. And here to reconnect, you can see we don't even need to type in the primary ACS IP because it remembers, it remembers that from the previous connection. And then type in the ACS admin password and you can click reconnect. And now let's lock into our primary ACS as well. And then get under system administration. You see the secondary has already gone through another set of service restart due to the reconnect to the primary. And if you look under distributed system management, you can see the status is now pending. And if you check the services on the secondary ACS, you now it's just going to have to wait for that to come back. So I have to give it a couple more minutes here. And now the services in the secondary ACS are back in running. We can go back and check on the replication status. You can see it's now changed to updated. So we know that we are good to go. And that's complete our part of the lab for patch install. Next, we're going to move on to the patch remove. So for any reason, if you'd like to remove the patch and roll back to the previous software version, whether it's you run into issues with the new patch, then what we can do, we can remove the patch again from the command line. So if you lock into here, we're still on the command line on both of our ACS primary and secondary. Instead of ACS patch install that we did, we can do remove. And then you need the exact patch name with no extension. So right here, we have a 54046-3, and you can just enter. Now another warning as far as the server is going to restart, and we say yes to confirm. And at this point, again, everything should fail over to your secondary, and you will most likely in production wants to wait for this process to complete on your primary. At least you will have a server to remain serving the client for the time being. And hopefully, again, this will be done during the maintenance windows. But just for our demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and remove the patch on the secondary as well to save us time. So let's do ACS patch, remove, and then the name, enter, confirm with yes. And now we're just going to have to wait for both of our primary and secondary patch to be removed. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video one more time. And the services are back up for both primary and secondary ACS. To verify that our patch has been successfully removed, we can do show application version ACS one more time. And here we no longer have any patch under the patches section. Show application version ACS on the secondary and we get the same result here. And now if we lock into the primary ACS server and we'll go under the distributed deployment and check here distributed system management and you can see that the secondary ACS even automatically connects back to the primary. So that means that we have successfully removed the patch from both of our primary and secondary ACS server at this point which pretty much wraps up our video on ACS 5.4 patch install and remove. You can visit our website to view an extensive list of lab videos and sign up to get access to additional lab contents. Thank you for watching labminutes.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.